Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 2. When we last left off in the last episode, we have uh, removed Carthaginians from the map of the world and uh, have captured all four of their cities. We'll rename them later. And we are doing the same to the Vikings here. We have also captured f no, only three Viking cities at the moment and two more will be captured in just a moment. So let's uh, see what we can do here can go to solo turn and uh, continue building roads between our cities then this guy will probably just continue over here let them rest fortify you can maybe attack Ouch, that hurt. Maybe you can do better. Not really. Fortify there. Let's take a tank. Excellent. Viborg is ours. Let's build city walls. Let's actually... Yeah, fortify there, why not? And our battleships are sort of useless now. They didn't even make it in time. Oh, hello. Fire plant did actually significant damage. Perfect. Fortify. Go down here. Okay, you will go to Zurich. Then, what can these pure poor settlers do? I think they can just stay here and uh, in case there are any pollutions occurring nearby you will be cleaning them up so sleep okay road there what else let's build a few roads over here as well no come on What's wrong with this square? Okay, go to Geneva. Go to Arhus. Go to Geneva and go to Arhus. Where are you? Over here. That's fine. That's fine already. Okay. We are almost there. Almost there. SETI program. Do we want to buy that? How many? Freight, one active, 19 in production. So that active one is probably in Vaduz. <laughs> and look at this, 25 active, 255 in production. <laughs> That's obviously a bug, but um, a very nice bug. Okay. Good, end the turn. No. That's okay. So, 30 more shields required. That means it will be built in the next turn. So, go to Zurich, but keep moving. Fortify. And now we shall 
finish the job. So first of all, you need to go there, disband, build city walls. That's good already. Then you need to go here as well. The ship will look around. Okay, nothing important there. Fortify here. Let's take a veteran. Ship can't attack anymore. So let's take this transport. Make a landfall and capture the last Viking city. Woohoo, they are building a courthouse. Now, why would you do that? Make city walls, please. Viking civilization destroyed by Swiss. Sorry, my phone was ringing. Um, okay. Very good. So, take support from this city and fortify. That's fine. What shall we do with the battleships? I mean, they can go now and uh, you can disband. We don't need the transport anymore. Finish the city walls. Okay, go to Viborg. Everybody, basically. Build some roads there. Keep moving. Fortify. Okay, over here. Not much else to be done, right? So let's go to Utica. Build a railroad. And we'll uh, have the recycling ready in just a moment. Perfect. Perfect. End the turn. Okay, city walls. Let's make a temple as well. We don't need so many tanks right now, but they cost a lot. Let's let's keep them. So many things to do, so many things to do. <laughs> Uppsala, you need a temple as well. And we built a safety program. Let's have a look at the video then. Swiss scientists discovered the secret of recycling. It allows us to build a recycling center, but let's first read more about this. Increasing world population has led to an inevitable increase in the amount of garbage produced by society. Conventional disposal methods such as burial in a landfill have proven inadequate to handle the growing waste problem. One solution to this problem is the reuse of discarded materials through recycling. Although scrap metals and other materials have been reused in manufacturing processes for some time, true recycling is a broad-based household-by-household effort. The increasing pollution generated by industry and consumerism, added to the depletion of natural resources, make the reuse of materials less of a concern of efficiency and more as one of necessity for the survival of the human species. Not only does the recycling of waste materials prevent the unwanted buildup of garbage, 
It saves energy and slows the depletion of natural resources such as trees and petroleum products. Okay, let's continue with... Uh, well, so many things to do. <laughs> um, what could be our goal, for example? We are not building spaceships, so it's actually irrelevant what we do. Yeah. So, if we want to go for space flight, for example, and the Apollo program, we should research flight, but that will decrease our um, science output significantly because the Colossus will become obsolete. So, let's research actually everything else first, starting with amphibious warfare. Why not? Still a lot of research to be done. Very well. Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to read more about the uh, SETI program, which we have just built here. Let's switch to Cure for Cancer. That's fine. And uh, let's uh, have a look actually at our science output. We had uh, 800 approximately before. Now we have over 1000. Perfect. So let's start with the research lab, which we will not be able to build because uh, of the wonder. Increases science output by additional 50%, cumulative with library and university for a grand total of 150%. Perfect. Costs a lot, but if you build a SETI program, it doesn't cost anything. Historically, libraries and universities have acted as the primary centers of research for new ideas and technologies. The growth of private industry in the modern age has also given birth to hundreds of privately owned research facilities. These private laboratories, usually dedicated to research in a single field related to their founding company, have made tremendous advances in many fields including physics, biology, chemistry and medicine. The growth of privately funded research has vastly increased the speed at which mankind achieves new advances in science and technology. And the wonder was called SETI program. Does not expire, costs a lot, but uh, we have... Uh, it saves us a lot of money and it's basically very good for a large civilization. Counts as a research lab in every one of your cities, effectively doubles your science output. Well. It doesn't double the science output, I think, but it does a lot. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, also called SETI, was officially initiated by United States in the latter half of the 20th century. The purpose of the program was to find some sort of conclusive evidence that intelligent life existed beyond the confines of our planet. Employing banks of radio telescopes and other detection equipment, SETI scans the skies hoping to find proof of extraterrestrial life in the form of radio transmissions and other activity. Although the program has yet to find such proof, the effort has produced many useful benefits to astronomy, telecommunications and other high-tech fields. Perfect. Very good. So, what are we doing? You can go to Zurich. Build the wonder. Actually, this will become very repetitive, I guess, but there's not much I can do about it. I can make the episodes a little bit longer, but uh, I'm not sure how that would help. Okay, build a railroad here. No? Okay, I guess it's fine then. Over here, maybe. We are at peace with the other civilizations, with Persians and Sioux. Um, let's check the intelligence. They are at communism. Hmm, researching conscription, okay. It will be a little bit harder to deal with them, but no big deal. They have a lot of cities, by the way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cities, okay. So we'll let them be. And we will also let Sioux be, for the time being, I told you I will destroy Sioux as last. So for now, just go along the shore and uh, 
try to update our information, our intelligence on the Persians. Oops, didn't want to do that. Go to Zurich, help build wonder. At least the go to command works now sort of okay with uh, some small exceptions. So I can do this without giving them specific orders. Okay. Go to um, this city. Well, it would be better if you have used the railroad network, but I guess that's fine. So, go to Bellinzona and, oops, again, something I didn't want to do. Wonder. There's nothing for us here, so let's start returning. Perfect. Okay. And it's the end of the turn already. Very good, then, very good. So, where's our last city? I think Freiburg number 21 was the last, right? Was it? Probably. Okay, so number 22 will be over here. Rename. And this town will be called St. Moritz. Number 22. Welcome to the Swiss Empire. Then uh, we also need some other cities from the southeast. So let's take Landquart. Number 23. And uh, let's say Davos. 24. And Arosa, 25. Perfect. Then, on the Viking side, on the southwest side, we'll take probably some cities from the canton of Valis. Where are mountains? Over here, at least some. So, Uppsala will be known as... Zermatt, number 26, and um, Arhus will be known as Sion, 27. And then we'll have um, Trondheim, for example, will be called Brick, 28. And Kaupang will be renamed to FISP29. Yeah, and that's about it. Very good. Oh, we forgot about Viborg. Um, yeah. Let's give it some nice name. Hmm. I don't know. What else? Uh, let's give it a name of something else. Let's let's call it Montro. City number thirty. Wow. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So, can we do anything else? Not at the moment, I believe. Let's end the turn. See if the Persians would like to attack us. Sue so change the government, that's no problem. Okay. Cure for cancer. 90 more shields required. That 
will be ready in no time. Stay there, stay here. What shall we do with you? I mean, I really don't need so many battleships now. But okay. Just stay where you are. Road. Road. Go to Zurich. Build Wonder. Which will be done right at the beginning of the next episode. Okay. I guess everything is fine. I say bye-bye and till next time.